Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so today is linear functions. So we have a function rule. A linear function is a function whose graph is a non-vertical line. A linear function can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So in this situation, if I give you a graph, can you get me the, uh, the function rule? The function formula. All right, so in order to be able to do this, we need to write a linear function that relates y to x. Step one, you have to find the slope. A couple of ways to do this. You could either remember slope is easy and fun, just remember rise over run, which means that we are going down one and over two, down one and over two, and that could get you your slope, or take any of these two ordered pairs and use the slope formula to find the slope. Once I have my two pairs, I have my x1, y1, my x2, y2. I plug them in carefully, and I get my slope of negative 1 half, which is what it looks like in the picture. Down 1 is negative 1, and to the right 2 is positive 2. So it's rise over run, down 1 over 2, gets you a slope of negative 1 half. Next, I need you to find the y-intercept. And it's that easy. The y-intercept is where we cross the y-axis, so notice we cross the y-axis at 4, and now we can create our equation, y equals mx plus b, is y equals negative 1 half x plus 4. And notice that negative 1 half is the slope, and 4 is where we cross the y-axis. If I just gave you a table, could you find the equation of the line? Well, sure, because step 1, again, is to find the slope. So I picked two of these points. Notice I picked the bottom two. They had the smallest numbers. I picked one point to be point one, another point to be point two, which got me my x1, y1, my x2, y2. So when I used the formula, plugged in the numbers, and I got my slope is negative two. Now I need to find out what's the y-intercept. And luckily, they gave it to me. Whenever the input equals zero, or whenever the x value is zero, the other number is the y-intercept. And so I get my answer. Let's let you guys try. See if you can write me a function rule for this equation. Okay, I'm back. Step one, find the slope. Write the formula. Pick your x1, y1, your x2, y2. Notice it doesn't matter which points you pick as long as you pick two of them. Plug them in carefully and I get the negative one half. Now I find the y-intercept, and there it is, negative 1, and I get my equation. How do I handle it here? Well, I'll let you guys try this one. Okay, I'm back. Step 1, find slope. Pick two points. Notice I picked the middle two this time. Get my x1, y1, my x2, y2. Plug in carefully, and this time I got a slope of 0. Now I find the y-intercept and the y-intercept is 2. So I get y equals 0x plus 2. I, as a middle school teacher, will take this answer. However, your high school teacher will not. They would expect you to realize that 0x's means nothing, and 0 plus 2 is just 2. All right, if you got any questions, please feel free to let me know. I hope you have a great night. Thanks.